Hey guys, you know it's Joe Jaguar. Welcome to my channel again. Um, I'm going to show you the latest find that I uh, found. Um, and uh, here it is. So, so, let me see. I'm not sure. Okay, so what this is, is a ETX. Um, it's an ETX. Let me see if I can get it closer. 125. It's a 5-inch Maxutov. Let me show that to you guys. So, here's the Maxutov. You can see it has a, a curved, uh, sec uh, you know, instead of the Schmidt being straight, um, this one is curved and it has a very small uh, secondary compared to like a Schmidt Cassegrain. Um, and it came, the ETX models come on like a fork mounted. Now, it's kind of small when it's on it, um, hard to put your head on, so it's kind of like something like this. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that type of thing like that. Uh, it, this one was go-to with the hand control, came with the case, red dot finder. Uh, what's nice about the ETX models is that on the back, let me see if I can show it to you, you can, you know, it, you can see... You know, you can put your eyepiece here, and if you're looking, of course, upwards or to the zenith um, type of thing, you're looking a proper 90 degree. However, at the back, there's also a flip switch, so you can put a 45 degree here. So if you're doing terrestrial viewing, land viewing, daytime viewing, uh, you could have a 45 here and a 90 here at the same time. You just flip this switch here, up or down. Uh, which depending which uh, I you know which model you want to uh, see uh, so that's kind of neat uh, and your focuser is right here so I deforked it that's what it's called let me put on the tripod and uh, put you guys towards me uh, deforking it just basically means taking it off its forks and that way I can put it on a proper um, type of mount so let me see if I can get you guys closer so here we go. Okay. So on Canada wide Astro buy and sell. Um, let me just fix that. Um, there was a gentleman, I've dealt with him before, and he wanted to do a trade. He's looking for a go to uh, EQ mount. So as you guys saw on my other videos, I had a Mead LXD85. Now, I really, when I was buying that, I really didn't want to go to, because uh, if you're in the hobby a long time, um, sometimes it's better just to pull a line, probably takes 20 seconds, if you could see Polaris. If you can't, sometimes I just point north, I kind of know where it is. Um, and then that's it, just put your, uh, you know, put your telescope on a planet and just start viewing. It's just so much simpler, except uh, instead of the 10 minute, uh, alignment procedure that you go through uh, as well as you know hopefully your batteries or your power tank doesn't die or there's no um, problems with it electronics as you guys know anything with electronic computerized sometimes will crash will sometimes have hiccups sometimes it's not successful so anyway so I really didn't want a another go-to but they really don't sell uh, go-to mounts or non go-to mounts anymore in the bigger sizes everything is go-to anyway so he was looking for a go-to and uh, he was trading this guy the 5 inch Maxutov uh, by Mead uh, it's called the ETX 125 it's a 5 inch on the fork arm it's a go-to comes with a case um, the Auto Star and two Mead Super Palazzo 4000 series so it's it's not a bad thing now I, I just don't like again the fork arms are a little small let me show it to you again just in case um, so that's what the fork arms look like it's a little small uh, to put your head in between them some people like them I don't uh, here's the case it came with it it's made for the ETX two eye pieces the cord auto star computer so I might just um, sell the fork arms um, uh, well I'll sell the base the fork arms the auto star type of thing uh, either separately 
and just use this as a uh, you know a nice little planetary scope now mind you five inch and this is f15 let me show you the front again so this is f15 so it's going to be narrow field of view but high power high contrast um, type of thing so th th theoretically a five inch f515 with a small secondary should be very comparable to like a four inch refractor, maybe even a four inch uh, Apple chromatic. Um, well, we'll see. I'll test it out and I'll actually test it uh, one day. It probably will have to be after I move against a four inch Takahashi because it should be very similar. Five inch Mac at F15, um, if it's a made very, very well, should be close to with my 102 which is a four inch Takahashi so this is a full inch aperture more um, the TAC is an F8 uh, this is an F15 should be pretty interesting but remember I also did that other video the Takahashi against the Skywatcher four inch Evo Star and the Takahashi blew away that one so on paper these two a uh, five inch Maxutov should be comparable to a four inch refractor in theory but under disguise, that's a different story. But anyway, I decided to trade him for this. Uh, I may or may not sell. Uh, again, I have to decide. I just got this uh, yesterday or the day before. Um, and so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the base or not. Uh, but a, a nice Max Sutov. I don't have one right now. I've had one in the past. Uh, I used to have this 7-inch Mead. Uh, when uh, Mead, just before they stopped... Um, making the 7-inch Maxutov. They were F15, ultra-high contrast telescope. Um, and then they had the locking mirror thing. Um, I had that and I sold that back in 2013. And it's probably one of the only scopes that I regret selling. Um, if I have a chance to maybe acquire one, uh, I probably would sell the 5-inch and get uh, the 7-inch. But the 7-inch is heavy. It's probably... Uh, 21, 22 pounds. Now this guy is not heavy at all. Let me just pick it up and see. I won't get the scale because I don't want... Oh yeah, that feels like it's 10 pounds maybe. It's not heavy at all. So a 7 inch is just really big difference. Um, anyway guys, so that's what I just picked up. Uh, again, doing a trade is very hard. First of all, both of you have to have something that the other likes. They have to be comparable quality and even comparable in price too because otherwise it just doesn't work type of thing so I find trades are almost impossible to do they sometimes do work in this case like I didn't really need to go to uh, EQ mount I was probably gonna sell it in the summer uh, type of thing but since he's looking for it and I don't mind having a 5 inch Mac for now um, when the planets come back I'll do a, a nice viewing through them again I'll compare it to my um, uh, my 4 inch Takahashi see how it holds up and um, you know so that's that's what I picked up uh, lately and I, I uh, the trade wasn't even um, I didn't have to pay a penny or anything in fact he gave me 80 bucks because I thought I would have had the tripod with it and, and it didn't so uh, we did the trade plus 80 bucks for me so I think it's still a fair deal overall uh, type of thing anyway guys Comment, like, share. Uh, if you know somebody interested in astronomy, science, or space that has not seen me, uh, might if you think they might like me, share them to me. Uh, invite them to my channel. Um, and uh, cheers. I'll see you guys in the next one.